Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, guys. Okay, today is during the week. It's a weekday, and we got ourselves a special delivery. Finally getting all this stuff that we've been waiting for for, geez, almost like 10 weeks now. So stick with us. We'll show you what it is, and you'll probably know what we're going to do with it. The long-awaited for shipment of steel has arrived today which means we can start building our handling facility. All right, we got a call last week that said, hey, we're gonna deliver your shipment on Monday or Tuesday, and it's Monday. Now, I'm sure I'm glad they delivered it today instead of what I was thinking Friday, Saturday, because Saturday, we didn't really film anything besides this. It was a friggin' snowstorm. And during the week, 0% chance of rain, maybe 5%. It's not even going to be freezing. It's nothing. And then Friday night, oh, my bad, it's 80% chance, right? These weather people suck at their job. So not only did it start to rain, it started sleeting and then snowing. And frankly, I wasn't going to do it, right? I just wasn't going to go out there and do a ton of stuff. So this all being said, I didn't film anything. Now, we did go through and do some productive stuff, watching her, taking notes, and... and making some decisions which we may share with you a little later on but we did do some stuff um, nothing like the normal we also had on saturday some contractors come by to try and do some bidding on some work and uh hopefully to speed some things along stuff that i'm just probably not going to be able to do or it's not being in the timeline like i set back in the previous videos so we're progressing we're just waiting for some bids back things are looking promising on that front but we got all this steel, okay? Now, as you can see from the semi-truck, we had a lot of stuff. We've got continuous fence panels, we've got gates, we've got pipe, we've got flat, up, flat bar, angle iron, connectors, caps, all that kind of stuff. And the process for unloading this thing wasn't so bad, except when I start looking at it, I'm like, how much do you want me to take at one time? So every time I pull up, especially this first one with the gates, I'm flipping up on my phone and checking to make sure, okay, what's the total weight for the gates? And it was like 1,400 pounds. I'm like, okay, I can take that. And I'm sure glad that he was spotting me and everything because that was kind of, you know, you're just always a little cautious. And I warned him, hey, I've only got like 150 hours on a tractor, so bear with me. They're banded together and they work really good. These are the gates, they're 12 footers, they're all banded together. Um, they are all for metal attachment, I mean we're gonna weld on hinges, and they are stout. They're like the ones that we've gotten a year and a half ago almost. Um, so combined with those and these, we should have all the gates that we need. You never know. If a buffalo wants to run through them and demolish them, I'm doing something bad. So these are gonna be great. The next thing we unloaded were continuous panels. These are metal panels that are pre-built and you take them off. They're 24 feet long. This is to try and make this a little quicker to build. It is more expensive than buying everything typically raw. You gotta flex it somewhere, guys. So this is gonna make it a lot easier for me since I'm not a good welder. I've never welded before. Getting these things off, there are a number of these. And at first we thought they were all banded together as one lump, but they're about 5,800 pounds worth of steel, and uh, I said I can't take that. But luckily, they came in sections, and I think there were three sections at a time, or three sections, so we unloaded them, and it was kind of tricky.
some good work. We got it off. It wasn't too bad, but we just had to finagle it and work it, and the tractor did just fine. So if you haven't seen any of these tractor or these guys before, these are the continuous panels. Now these are doubled up over. So think of them as individual pieces like this. Okay, a flat bar connects these. I think these are one and a half or one and a quarter, um, but they are already welded both sides all the way through and they're 24 feet long. And the way that they work is they take these connectors, you place this up against the fence posts as you want and you put these connectors and they slide in and then you can tack weld it and then slide the next panel over so they join them and you can tack weld and make sure that they stick together so these connectors are helpful to get them all lined up you put them on every one these are gosh i think they're six feet no they're five feet i think these are only five feet in length um but they're 24 feet long I think this is going to make it a lot quicker for me especially and a lot easier to get them up. So these are continuous panels. I'm looking forward to this and uh, I hope this goes smoothly. The next items to unload were the pipes. These are our fence posts and these are three inch steel posts. I don't remember how thick they are. They're thick. They're stout. So they're thick posts, these are going to be steel. I'm not using the wood for these. The goal is to concrete them in the ground and set them all out and everything should be good. Weld the posts or the panels to them and that sucker will be stout. So those are the background. Then up here up front we have some flat bar, angle iron and some extra tubing. I think it's one and a half inch tubing. Tubing is I'm going to make some man gates, some smaller gates to kind of fit in where I want. I've also got some angle iron because um, I'm thinking right now that I may use that for the squeeze section to bring the buffalo in. I don't personally like the steel 
the flat steel kind of banging when they hit it. It's just so loud. Gosh, it's annoying. So I've seen people do this where they use flat iron and put two by sixes or two by eights and they weld through and they bolt and they do other things. So I'm gonna try that and we'll see if I like it. Um, but that's the objective with all that. So to make some gates um, and kind of make that squeeze area, the funnel areas. So that's our big purchase today. That means now it's time to get busy. It means I have sleepless nights because I'm gonna be working all the time. I'll be working in the dark. I've gotta get tons of concrete. I gotta get water over here all that stuff, but now we have all of our steel. In case you were wondering, we did get caps. These are to weld on the pipes. I don't know how to count them. There's a lot. It says there's only a hundred of them, but whatever. And then we got some striker latches. And these guys, this gets on the fence, weld it to the post, and the idea is this guy is springed so when it comes by swinging shut it compresses and then shoots out and then it holds so it's pretty simple design i don't want to have to rely on wrapping a chain you know when you're in a, in a handling facility you don't have time to sit there and try and just wrap and unwrap chains you got to be able to throw some gates get them to shut and everything now no excuses right got to get a crank on this thing and uh start working but if any of you guys have any tips of what kind of rod to use, um, I was going to use probably a 6011. I heard that, yeah, I heard that, that was probably better. Um, if you got anything else, a 7018 or a 6010, but I think a 6011 is what I was probably going to use for the rod. I'm going to use that generator welder, super powerful, no big deal on that. And yeah, if you have any tips, really, I mean, settings how much amperage or you know how much power to put into this any of that kind of stuff um it'd be helpful so feel free to provide that we want to give you a quick update midweek or a weekday status of what's going on at black acre ranch so we appreciate you joining along guys remember to give us some advice on some welding if if you have anything that's productive with that and um that'll help as we kind of go forward so anyway talk to you guys later see you next time bye <laughs>